Good morning. Guess what we've been landed with? Snow. Flipping snow. <sighs> it's confusion this morning for Betty. This winter just keeps on giving. I feel for all the people who are lambing and calving outside. I'm very fortunate we've got everything under cover here, but a lot of people lambing's just getting started. Grim. The dampness in the air, which just makes the calves all damp and wet. And when you've got damp, wet calves here, chances of pneumonia, rockets. It's amazing how the snow just traps the light. Normally in the morning, it's so bright in here. Whereas it's just that much duller in here because, well, and the roof lights are covered in snow. Right, here comes Kev. We're just going to muck out the bullpens here. No need and done. And it's not like we've got anything else to do in a day like this other than workshop jobs and cattle jobs. It's not really snow, it's slushy, sleety. Ugh. It's just water, more flipping water, that's what it is. Hey Pooch, you're enjoying it. It's April. Look at it, it's April. Sixth ah. or seventh of April today. Spring, lambing time, sowing time. Insane. Anyway, that's the big lads mucked out, bedded. They were getting a bit grubby to be honest. Not looking the bonniest. That'll clean them up a bit. One slight thing that annoys me with these bull pens. The outside gates here are hung slightly lower than all the inside gates. The inside gates be fine up to a certain level of bedding, but that level of bedding blocks these big these gates. I may shift these gates up so they're at the same level as the bottom of those gates. We small changes that'll help to make a difference, make things easier. If you could do anything to cheer up my day, you could you can like the video and you can oi <laughs> you can subscribe if not already that'll cheer me up from this rotten soggy weather <sighs> passages are scraped just feeding out some grub and then we can let them out it's easier feeding them when they're not got their heads through the barriers cold fingers Nothing worse than a damp, cold day and you're touching loads of metal things. Really sucks the life out of your hands, doesn't it? We're getting this monster calf in to weigh. I was kind of leaning on it, so I'll press it and it'll pop up. 66 kilos. You're a monster. He was born 48 hours ago. Massive. He's doing well. He's still a little bit sluggish. He's not exactly full of beans, but he's drinking and he can get on his own two feet or on four feet. So I think, I think we're looking good. Fingers crossed though. He's like a train. 66 flipping heck. For reference, a normal single calf is roughly 40 kilos. So he's like 60, 70 percent bigger than a normal calf. So he probably has a kilo or two of milk in him since he's born, so probably born at about 64 kilos, but Monster! Right, we'll get you back in the pen. Yard one bound. I need to go and sort out some welding gas. 
and then we'll be into the workshop for the rest of the day because why would we step outside? Is it passed? Yeah, well, it's been broken down most of the year. That's why it's only done 2,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> and for what, if we come in 10 minutes, would that be all right? Defender's passed its MOT. Wow, it's only done 2,000 miles since its last MOT. It's got been broken down for 10 months. It's just in here. Also, a nice new shoot trailer over there. One passed MOT. Four advisories, so it's just pretty good. An oil leak. Defender, it leaks. Brake pipe corroded, covered in grease or other substances. Advisory, brakes still work. Happy days. Axle swivel pins and bushes, slightly worn. Slightly is not a word I concern myself with. Registration plate deteriorated, unlikely not to be misread though. I wonder why it's deteriorated. 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 Insert dodgy driving. This fence is coming down. We'll do it the quick way. Tell you what, that's how you remove a fence with a Land Rover Defender. Master of all jobs. Otherwise, she's gold. The monster calf, I think that's him up and running. He knows what he's doing with the teats and he seems healthy enough now. Smashing. I have no idea what has just happened. This cow just fed a lot of them. Me and dad were over there chatting away and she just took a tumble, started going stiff. I thought she was dead, heart attack, gone. The life was just gone out of her. I ran and got some calcium and magnesium in case it was staggers related. I'm still going to give her the calcium and magnesium but she's just, she was laying on the floor you'd think she was dead I was standing right next to her and she came back to life Six, seven. But I've no idea what's up right now with her It shouldn't be magnesium related, they're getting high magnesium content in their feed but we're going to look at that anyway Let's get the rest of these cows out of here My heart's going like a clap and she just like honestly like dropped dead in front of me Apart from she's lying down, she looks absolutely fine. I'm so confused. See if she'll get up, get her into the crush, get some mag and calcium into her. I was 99% sure she was 30 seconds away from stone dead. She's getting up now. What has happened there? What have I... Uh, Insane. Insane. You can see where she landed. What state she's in. Okay, she's now had a full bottle of magnesium, 250 odd mil of calcium. Luckily, the camera was pointing right at her. So here's the footage.
Ready to go? Anyway, we're given her magnesium and calcium just in case. What I'm gonna do is clip up the video of her cowping, send it to the vet, get his opinions. But she seems absolutely fine now. Come on, Gary. If I wasn't here at the time, you wouldn't know anything was wrong with her. I think it's about time I get rid of the Christmas tree. Still green, though. So I might do next year. I've lost a bobble. We'll keep the bobble. Right, that cow, um, don't know what's wrong with her. She's just a bit groggy, a oh, bit dull looking, still to calve. Well, I wouldn't be that surprised if she just did the same again, drop dead. Um, so get the vet out, cost a few quid, but it's well worth it. When it initially happened, I thought, staggers her heart attack. Since then, obviously she's, she's up and fine. Kind of like she's just fainted, but she's still a bit groggy since then, so. That is the vet been and had a check over of this cow and it's not really good news. Um, checked her heart rate, which is about 100. Cow should probably sit about 70, so her heart rate's running high. Very pale, in about the mouth and the gums are very pale, so there's not a lot of redness color to it. Same at the back end, very pale on the inside skin which is a sign of low circulation or poor circulation. And you can see it on her nose, it's just pale and kind of dour looking. So heart rate high, pale in color, collapsed. Looks like a heart problem, not quite managing to get the circulation around the body. He thought it may also be a potential kidney problem, which he can test for. So he's taking a blood sample, he's going to test for that and see if it's to do with kidneys or not. Basically, it's not much we can do. She's still to calve. She's not started bagging up yet. And so just to keep her somewhere quiet, just keep her calm, relaxed. It's basically just a case of wait and see. She's six year old, so she's not an old cow. Just one of those things, a bit of a freak. Said you don't see it very often. I'm glad the camera caught the video of her cowping over because you'd struggle to explain how dramatically she just both collapsed out cold. Ah, bloody cow. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, the next few updates I've got for you are good. Down to just one bay of lights left on at night. She's just getting started. We've got one just getting going. There's a couple of wee hoofs, well, medium sized hoofs kicking out. Me and the dog are watching. Well, I am. The dog's snoozing. Come on, Coo. Let's get this on with, and then I can get to my bed. And actually, she is getting going as well. Oh, I'm not getting to my bed anyway. Not yet. She's gone and plunked herself right up against the gate. So she's getting shifted up. There's a wee, wee nose is poking out there now, but... She's popped that out literally 60 seconds ago. It's trying to get on its feet already. Looks a lively calf, that. 